Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and here we have an absolutely gorgeous Land Rover Discovery 3. It's in immaculate condition, and it's a TDV6. You won't often find a 10-year-old SUV in this condition. As you can imagine, there have been family cars, and this, this particular car is a seven-seater, so it's quite remarkable. And it's got one of the best service histories I've seen on a Discovery 3 so far. The interior is very good. It's done 134,000 kilometres since it was new. So I'll just adjust there. And we'll go through the logbook. It comes in this beautiful champagne colour. It's got continental tyres front and back and it's got easily one of the best looking alloy wheels you can get on the Discovery 3 which look great but are also good for off-road so you've got plenty of tyre there if you're you know, driving over rocks and things you're not going to punch your tyre with big 18, 19 or 20 inch wheels. The black leather is very good. The hood lining is in immaculate condition as well. This car has been fitted with a tow bar. The TDV6 has plenty of power and is very economical. It's got a split tailgate. It's got the uh, cargo barrier in the back as well, so if you've got important things in the car, you can just pull it across. It's got rear parking sensors. At the moment, the suspension is on low. We'll put it up towards the end of the video. But the suspension like that, the ease and out of the car is very good. It's had timing belt. It's fully serviced up to date and it looks like every single service has been done by Land Rover. So here's the book. Let's have a look at this service history. All the books are present as you would have seen in the photos. Oh, I'm seeing lots of Land Rover stamps, right. So it's done 134,000 kilometers. So Solitaire is a Land Rover dealer, it would seem. At 117,000 Ks, had timing belts, auxiliary belts as well. It's just, it's very good. As I said, I literally haven't seen a service history like this in a long time. Yeah, it's very good. And look, when you're buying a Discovery, you really can't buy the cheapest one. You've got to buy the best one available with the best service history at a fair price. It's also got terrain control here. So you've got gravel, mud ruts, hill climb, etc. That's the switch puts suspension up and down, and obviously you've got high and low range. And you've got hill descent control here as well. It's got an electric handbrake. Uh, this car is fitted with Bluetooth. It's also been option with sent on headlights. It's got a good steel bull bar, not a pretend aluminium bull bar. And it's got driving lights. Looking down the side, it looks very straight. Normally, if you find a car like this with a heavy duty ARB bull bar. It's generally done a lot of off-road. And you'll find little dings and scratches along the side and things like that, but it really doesn't look like it's, uh, it's been off-road. And if it has, it certainly hasn't done anything major. There's no winch attached. But who's ever owned this car has really looked after it. It's got a very nice set of Continental tyres, which again, if you're doing serious off-road, you're not gonna have Continental semi-road tyres on it either. But if you have been looking for a Discovery 3, I would strongly suggest you come and have a look at this car. Start it up. It starts absolutely beautifully. We'll put the suspension on the highest setting. When you open the door, it actually stops the suspension from working for safety reasons. So we'll close it. 
I may not have seen it, but it, it's already started going up and it's nearly at its full height. So it must have had a compressor, an air compressor changed at some stage. Generally when they start to age, they just get slower and slower as they go up. But I think, you know, if, if you did have to change one of these air compressors, um, I think they're only about fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars, which in the whole scheme of things isn't too bad. So I'll close the door and we'll see if we can see it go down. Yep, front first. And the good thing about this car is when you put the suspension down, it really goes down. On some other cars, you've only got a, a range of a few centimetres and it's a bit of a waste of time. Land Rover, and more so Discovery, are renowned for their off-road ability. One of the best things about these cars is you can drive them to work every day, drop the kids to school, tow a caravan, tow a box trailer to the tip. You can use it every single day. And you can also, on the weekend, go off-road, drive through some rivers, and do some pretty serious off-roading. Another good thing about these cars is you can take it off-road. You can basically drive it out of the shop, brand new, and take it off-road. You don't need to do anything. Obviously, if you want to get more serious, you can get bull bars and winches, and there's an optional rear diff lock as well. But whether you're looking for a car for driving around town, something for doing interstate driving or trips, or some serious off-road, you can't go wrong with a Discovery 3 TD V6 SE. It's got leather seats, xenon lights, bull bar, tow bar, parking lights, and the list goes on. Thank you so much for watching. We specialise in European cars. We have a number of vehicles in stock, including a couple of Range Rovers. Thanks again for watching.